My character is called Wakabi. He's the leader of the border tribe. And he basically is kind of like a metaphor for Wakanda. He's got this blanket. And they, they, all the tribe have this blanket where they hide what they have and they hide how powerful they are. And which is kind of like Wakanda where it hides what it has in order for the outside world and it protects the borders and whoever goes in and out. And he's T'Challa's best friend. I think that's, uh, that's why we're here, you know. He's, 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 I mean, there's, 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 a, there's a scene when T'Chaka says um, if uh, a son isn't prepared for his father's death, he is, he's failed as a father, you know. It's, and that's what this is about it's about how the next generation and how does Wakanda grow after T'Chaka's death I think grief is a huge theme in this film you know it's how people how people deal with grief and how it informs who they are moving forward is something that I, that stroke that that came out to me when I when I watched it for the first time so yeah and, and pain you know and 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 and, and displacement and especially when you're from an African community but feel out of place by it because you don't understand the culture and the language and XYZ. So yeah that's what that's what the themes that really um, stuck out to me. It's always the year bro. Every year is the year. That's how I feel. And um and I'm happiest this year. But I feel like this is a good film and Brian Cook has really really brought it home and really made something special. And when it's something special it's really important. You know what I mean?